Do not ask why I'm back in this living room again. The creator wanted me to be back into my original living room. Anyways, my job at Publix went off to an awful start. I went as far as to guilt trip a customer. Lie to one customer. Tell one off. And even went as far as to be rude to Sophie Cat. And even got roasted by Miles moments before I was fired. That's something that I'm going to be remembering for a very long time. And that's something that's going to be haunting me for the rest of my career. Especially in the history book for years to come. But whatever. I hope my job at Meckles goes off to a very good start to this. I swear. <laughs> Greetings, and welcome to Michaels. The store where you get anything you need. How can I help you with today? Oh. It's you. If you excuse me, I'm going to go to another register. I heard about your experience at a public store that you used to work at and I'm not having it and I remember you being like this at one of your previous jobs I encountered you at. I'm going to do just that and probably get you fired in the process see you later or should I say, never. Hey, don't do that. Great. She's already gone. I hope this doesn't go well with law enforcement if I ever do get arrested during this ladder into my career. Because that would really tarnish my career for sure. But whatever. Greetings, and welcome to Michael's. The store where you get anything you need. How can I help you with today? Oh, hello MR I like to be rude to girls. I heard about what you said to Sophie at your previous job at Publix. She was not happy and she told me that she went home in complete tears because of you and you know what that means. Right? No. And I don't want to know. Remember when I told you back at your enterprise job what was going to happen if you've did something like this at your future jobs? I warn you and you know what's going to happen. Right? Let me guess. Are you going to beat me up or something like that? No but it's even better. Oh no. Please don't tell me who I think it is. That's right. I'm getting MR Tomatoes on you once again and this time. He will be even powerful than ever between this episode and 285. You and him are going to have should I say. A little chat after you get fired. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hey get back here. I am not looking forward to Mr. Tomatoes. I swear. For the way I had to deal with him at most of my previous jobs, I am not dealing with him again. You know what? For my safety, I'm just going to quit. I'm not even going to wait to get fired this time. Sayonara. Viewers. Boris. I heard that you were rude to the customers and... Strange. He left before I was about to fire him. Oh well. I might as well confirmed that he was fired now and just returned back to duty. Hey guys. Before I end this video. Due to a recent incident that occurred between me and my friend last Friday when him and I were talking about the AEIS. While he was trash talking about them on my DMs, I told both of my besties about it. One of them didn't want to hear it, while my other bestie lashed out at me for it and told me to shut up, even though she did delete her message after I told her that it was his words and that he told this to me about the AEIS and told me that he had every right to talk about them like that. But she was mostly disappointed at me for not only involving her in that conversation that we both had about the AEIS but for also telling her and involving her into that conversation both of us had regarding that conversation that we both had into why he despises the AEIS and when he provided the reasons to me on my DMs on Discord into why he despises them. And I didn't just involve her, I also involved my other bestie into that when my friend wanted that conversation between me and him about that to be kept private. Because of me doing that, my friend got into a lot of trouble with my bestie for the way he trash talked about the AEIS when he had a reason to, while I was mostly in trouble for involving her in it. 
And what my friend didn't know is that my bestie that I told that entire conversation to is currently an AEIS member. And she got really pissed off when she found out about that conversation that he had with me about the AEIS that day after I confessed it and told it to her, even though it was mostly him that was trash talking about the AEIS. But this really upsetted my bestie and she nearly had him called out for that conversation that he had with me about them. Especially me. Thankfully that never happened. And she did leave my friend off with a strict warning for that. And also left me off with a warning for not just involving her but for also telling her about that conversation. I did have a talk with my friend about this that night and I did apologize to him for leaking our conversation we both had about them to her and my other bestie. And leaked that conversation to my other bestie too. But I'm not going to talk about this further due to a similar situation that occurred between me and him a few months ago and last year. Even though I will not be bringing those situations up since those situations were already addressed in one of my videos and they have already been resolved. But we did agree to talk about this privately in a call that night just so nothing like that never happens again. And the very next morning. My bestie advised me not to involve her in something like that again or else she will have to cut ties with me and block me on Discord for that. Thankfully, I took her advice and that situation later got resolved that evening after my friend had a serious conversation with me about it and about how to keep conversations like that private since he was nearly called out for that by the AEIS and the rest of my bestie's friends because of me telling her that. But for now, expect new videos out from me soon, along with a new episode of Boris for Hire. But for now, this is me Elias D signing off.